Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's Archer's Choice. It's so cool to sit there and see it. This is a great opportunity to go to a place like, like the Curl Ranch and to experience that from a tree stand or a ground blind. We are heading to Utah, Curl Ranch Outfitters, where we both threw elk tags. Oh, uh, I mean, I can't believe it. And it's no awesome. one thought we'd draw our first. No. I mean, it was just but crazy. We drew, and so, we drew. And I mean, so I mean. So rearrange schedule, and I, away we go. I got sick in Alaska. You did but, right before this trip. So we got a lot to show you. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Lots Woo. of bulls bugling. Bulls, elk, everything's Cows going screaming. On. Elvis. I'm used to that. I though. mean, things like that. So just watch. We got lots to share. The Archer's Choice crew makes the cross-country trip to Utah to Curl Ranch Outfitters in pursuit of the great North American elk. While Utah is widely perceived to be a desert state and is statistically the second driest state in the nation, its wildlife, climate, and vegetation are as diverse as its landforms. After receiving a warm welcome from some of the local residents, Ralph and Vicki side in their hoits in preparation for a late afternoon hunt. We're at KRO again, Utah, with Mr. Clint. Yep, and we are. It is hot, and we are actually using white-tailed deer tactics for elk. Why? It's first part, first week of September. It's about 90 degrees today, 87 or something like that. And um, we're going to go hit water holes and wallows. And these boys know where they're at. They've been putting out their cameras, and they know exactly what's going on. So we're going to get perched up in a little tree, act like two little predators. You're not going to get Chad to look like a little. Yeah, it probably won't happen. But the reality of it is, is we're gonna be in the right place at the right time. KRO, baby. It's gonna be a warm one. It's gonna be warm. It's gonna be warm. But it's well worth it. Okay, help trying you, to be helpful. Hey, I'm soaking wet now. Stop. Quick draw. <laughs> I won. <laughs> and I don't stink. Hello, Captain. <laughs> How are you, buddy? How are you, man? How are things? Good. Good. Going good. Good. <laughs> good. How are you? Good to see you. Oh, it's good to see you too. Oh, that's it's going to be a bit warm out, huh? It's, it is. It's, it's, it's really warm. <laughs> uh huh. That's okay. But that's just going to get them into the water. That's right. Yes, We're sir. Follow the water anyway, so it's perfect. It's going to be great. It will be. I went in there the other night to uh, to swap memory cards on, on the trail camera. And as I was walking in, three cows and a bull come running down in right in front. Um, just like this, other than I got a trail camera. Oops. <laughs> I backed out and they never even looked out. Really? Wow. Well, good. Let them be thirsty. Yeah, right? absolutely. That sounds like a plan. We'll take it. We overspray because it never hurts. Alrighty, 
first afternoon out here at KRO, Curl Ranch Outfitters, and um, we're gonna head out. Big G here, Greg's gonna take us out, and uh, we're gonna go and hunt some elk for the first time this year. Woohoo! No trespassing except for elk and big. The hunt is just getting started at Curl Ranch Outfitters in Northern Utah. Ralph and Vicki are each in tree stands in two separate areas. It's not long before Ralph has his first encounter. The only problem is that it's not with an elk. I don't know what happened. I watched his beat come like, I, I swear, a hundred yards away, and it just come flying, flying, and I'm like, oh, nothing. And it came and landed right here, and I didn't even, I didn't even, I knew, don't push, you know, don't swat, and the thing bit me. <laughs> and Chad's laughing hysterically, my eyes swelling up, I look like Sylvester Stallone, you know, and Rocky that got beat up, and I, I mean, I'm just sitting there going, okay, I got the runs from Alaska, I can't see out of my eye. Did he get stung again well, then? Yes, I got, he bit, I got bit on the finger, yep. Life is good, it really is, you know, when you're Ralph. So the world according to Ralph, sometimes you just gotta suck it up buttercup and go with the flow. No pun intended. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. Wow. Got me right here. Just, just flew right in, right in, and just stung me. <laughs> Meanwhile, Vicky is a bit more fortunate as game starts to pour in. When you're sitting in the stand, and I know, I mean, we love spotting and stalking also, but one of the unique things is when you're sitting out there in a the stand, what else you get to see? Oh, for Cause sure. Because when you're on the ground, it's really, the cover's thick, so you can't always see everything. But up in the stand, you can. So like from the stand, I could actually see we had two coyotes come in the other end of that mm. pond, come in, do some drinking, walking around, and leave. I mean, there's so much more that you see. You know, and I think a lot goes back to Clint and Greg. Right. They know where to put put the hunters. Absolutely. And I mean, literally, we are, we are in it every day. Yes. That's pretty incredible. You know, I think a lot of people don't realize that you can use whitetail tactics on elk. Right. And in that early season, Water holes, wallows, and I mean, they're the, they're the key to success. Yeah, I mean, where I was set up in that tree stand, when we're sitting there, there was wallows. So there's a big pond, but where some of the water was coming out, they were starting to, to drink out of it, and then they started rolling around in it. Yep, wallowing. And to sit there and watch, like, I've never sat and watched elk wallow. These guys, I mean, they're like just throwing mud everywhere, and they were cut, they came in clean, and by the time they left, it looked like a mud bath, like a day at the spa. They had mud everywhere, and they threw it all over the place, and I mean, it's just so neat to actually be able to sit there and watch it. It's part of it. Honey. They were a little too far to shoot, but it was amazing.
but honestly, that was, it to, was to watch them come in and wallow the way they do and to know that this is what they do. I mean, we had other bulls come by that you could tell they had wallowed somewhere because well, they were just covered in like dried mud. It's so cool, like you're saying, to sit there and see it. And especially a lot of people that may be intimidated that they've never went elk hunting. Right. You know what I mean? This is a great opportunity to go. You're so used to your deer hunting or, right. or whatever, you, you know what I mean? But you're so used to maybe being in one spot to go to a place like, like the Curl Ranch and to experience that from a tree stand or a ground blind. Right. Oh my gosh. Well, the opportunities are closer. You're not trying to chase after them if you don't feel like you're ready to go and do a spot and stalk. It's actually a great place to go. How cool is this? You guys saw some really cool things oh, also. Oh, we were, I, I mean, we, we were in, we were in the thick of it. Was that awesome? Let me, let me show you something, come here. Because, have you ever seen this? This is very unique in Clint's truck. Because when, if you have a headlamp and you lose one, which obviously he must, don't worry. We have a wide variety and selection of headlamps. And if you act now and only now for 1995, we'll send you two. <laughs> two, at, from KRO, contact KRO. And if you act now, we'll send you two used headlamps. You, you, the guys here are always prepared and if they ever run into a Martian with six heads they could give them a headlamp for each head. Ralph get in the truck. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna see anything tonight. He's gonna put me in the gar hole. All right guys I'm going to the gar hole Greg ain't I? I'm going to the gar hole ain't I? All right. just hiked into this water hole. It's down in a valley. Up on top, we were nervous with the wind, but when we got here, it seems like it's really doing good. Clint spotted bull elk all over here this morning. And when he dropped us off way up on top, he could see bull elk to our east. So hopefully, this is the only water source in this valley. Hopefully, they're going to come down this way. So we're just going to sit tight and see what happens. One day, we were sitting at the water hole that I shot my cow elk the mm -hmm. year before. Right. And we had mountain lion come in. That is really cool. We actually had a, 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 a mother and a, and a kitten come in. And I mean, to see them and just to experience that because there's a whole lot of time, I can tell you, in all of the years I've hunted, I've seen one, besides hunting them, I've seen one in the wild, you, you know what I mean? And to see them that close, and, and then I did a little squeal. And she turned and looked at me and goes, Ooh, look at that little Italian. <laughs> she's like, yeah, I'll eat that thing. But then she's like, no. And she took off. Is that exactly what she thought? Yeah, oh yeah. I, could, I, I, I have this yeah, mental you know exactly what telepathy with, with wildlife. I am like Dr. Doolittle of doom You for do the little, exactly. You are correct. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna, you know what? I am going to 
copyright that. I am the doctor. I said yes, you are correct. You do little. Yeah. I didn't get that one. <laughs> I really did not get that one. Son of a. Well, we're back. Clint said that Elvis has been missing me. So he missed it's, you. it's we had to come back been a year. Him. I'm going to go visit Elvis. Oh. Uh, you could tell I'm really excited. Oh, he's coming already. Oh. He's already walking this way. I just saw him walking. Yeah, great. Elvis is coming to meet Ralph. <gasps> Look at And we're going to see the goose or duck. The, the duck, duck that eats mice. Look at Elvis is right there looking at He's looking. He's, hey, yo, what at? Bro, come on. Hey. Yeah, here I am. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Elvis will forever live in my memory. Yeah, mine too, but it's a Elvis nightmare. Elvis loves Ralph. If you guys remember last year. <laughs> I wonder if this is good cover scent. Elvis just loves Ralph, and we went back, and Elvis still loves Ralph. I don't know what it is. I really don't. He just you really likes bread, Elvis. You do. Okay, can I go now? You know, after getting so sick in Alaska, <laughs> after getting sick in Alaska, now you've got Elvis spitting on you. Can I go this way? I swore, lied. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why? Oh. <laughs> These guys are laughing. Get away from me. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Get him, Elvis. <laughs> I was kidding. Here, I was joking. <laughs> You like that? So you can See? be friends with Elvis. See? Oh, okay. Go and aim it that way. Nope. Before you know it, Ralph and Elvis become a bit closer, both literally and figuratively. Look at how cute they are. He wants to be your friend. Clint and Chris, they actually have rescued animals. So, and it's Pretty not cool. its not just like dogs and cats. I mean, they have some amazing dogs. Amazing. Just to help those dogs. Yeah, they're huge. <laughs> they're huge. So they have llamas and alpacas, and they have like peacocks and raccoons and sheep and what oxen else? and a yak. And what's, what, what, Tusi? A Watusi. A miniature Watusi Yeah, or Tootsie the Watusi. Yeah. I mean, like all these things that they get, uh, a miniature Brahma bull, which is kind of cool too. You know, all these animals have been rescued from some form or another, and it's pretty cool that they ha he does, they do all this. Hi. Yeah, Clint and Chris, they actually take these animals in, whether one way or the other something happened, and they're rescue animals, which we thought was really cool last year when we were here, and we wanted to come back and see them all. I love elk hunting. I know, I elk absolutely is so love much it. Fun. It is. I mean, it's just. You're there at the right place, the right time, and I mean, you and can have. Screaming. Oh, yeah. I mean, it reminds me a lot of it being at home. At home screaming? No, all the screaming. Oh, yeah. That's because I'm such a. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so hey, but we have so much more to Elvis. share with you. Elvis. We have more Elvis. I don't like but we have so much more elk hunting to share with yes, you. Yes, we do. So we want to thank you guys for watching this week's Archer's Choice. So come back next week, same time, same channel, right here on the Archer's Choice. To in see Utah. more of what happens in Utah, 
more with everything. Clint and more Greg Elf, and Chris more and I mean, Ralph, more Elvis, no, more everything. No, no, Elvis is just that nightmare. Dun dun. 